and Luke are so proud of their mommy, they rooted for her to pursue her dream to become a police officer. Nicole Thorns wanted to go to serve and console for the rest of her life, but life twisted those plans. Now, instead of leading with her badge, she leads with her heart. Peace on the water for a former police officer who started out on bike patrol in Ocean City. One of my favorites was getting a DUI um, on a bicycle. You know, somebody that was driving under the influence and I was on a bike. She pedaled her way to Salisbury, only to have her badge lose its shine while in training. Right in this area, I originally thought that it was my shoulder because I had instant pain shoot down my arm um, into my hand and my trigger finger. Uh, and even the doctors thought that it was my shoulder, but they couldn't find anything on like MRIs or anything. And that's when they, they went further up and saw that it was a broken neck. With neck, spirit, and heart all broken, Nicole was forced to retire. Devastation was probably the biggest one. That and who am I now? Who she became was the caring granddaughter escorting her pop-up into heaven. Even led her to become a funeral home director, which then led to her becoming a death doula. Everything that I said that I wanted to be as a police officer, be there for people. I get to be there for them for what could potentially be their most challenging aspect of their life. From a broken neck to a hard back book, Daddy's Home, written by Nicole. How do you explain heartbreak? How do you recover from it? The first reader? My grandmother. <laughs> she is almost 92 years old and she's got some problems with her eyesight. She had tears in her eyes when I was done. Her book takes a tearful turn when Nicole calls her own badge number. 3187. 3187. It was when I read that page out loud to myself. I cried. I just and wanted him to answer. I just wanted to hear his voice again. Part of me did die the day that I was injured and I was no longer a police officer. I know you have goosebumps up and down your arm. Well, Nicole has ink. And then I have the, uh, the semicolon. Um, that is for myself because I struggled with the thoughts of suicide and also for a friend who did commit suicide. From her wrist to her boyfriend's wrist. After years of dating, she found out that Mark Judderman was the one who stood by fallen Baltimore County Police Officer Amy Caprio's bedside. And this past Tuesday, Nicole and Amy's mom met for lunch. It was like a mini book club. Nicole is still consoling. Are you at peace now? For the most part, I am. All units, 3187 is now 1042. We thank you for your service and we'll hold the line from here. Her son Luke is following in her footsteps as a Salisbury policeman. Gabby works at the local hospital and Nicole runs positive passing as she continues to hold our hands in our darkest days. She is the commissioner of compassion. And if you want her book, just go to Amazon. A lot of people ask, why didn't she call it mommy's book? That would have been even tougher for her two children.